propaganda is passed off as fact on an everyday basis. In an effort to combat this and all the other confusing aspects of fake news, the BBC has set up a department it calls BBC Verify. One of its senior figures is Olga Robinson, whose father is Russian and whose mother's Ukrainian. So she's the natural person for me to go to to find out about the various claims coming out of the war. There's just been so much, uh, so many examples of misleading and false um, reporting from coming from both sides. But having said that, um, the nature of the kind of disinformation uh, and misinformation coming out of Russia um, has been different from the kind of claims that we've been seeing from the Ukrainian side. So when it comes to Ukraine, we often, what we see is trolling or kind of the classic war propaganda of creating uh, myths like the famous ghost of Kiev, sort of like a myth of a fighter jet um, pilot who who um, has been doing heroic deeds to protect Kiev and that later turned out to be a more of a collective image of uh, Ukrainian pilots who were protecting the airspace at the beginning of the war. What about a famous apparent drone attack on the Kremlin which just happened to be filmed and looked so kind of weird. Do you think that was genuine? What we have managed to establish so far is that um, there were two flying objects that experts think, whose trajectory experts think is very consistent with them being drones, um, and they did explode. Initially, when we were looking at the footage, we thought we were talking about one flying object, but then my colleague, a uh, really eagle eye managed to spot the difference on the clock tower, uh, the Spaska the Bashnia, um, where it was clear that the, there was a difference, like 15 minute difference um, be, in between the clips. So we were able to then piece together this different pieces of jigsaw to build a kind of a better picture of what actually happened. Olga, can I ask you a personal question? You're, you're Russian, you've got family in Russia. How easy is it for you to be entirely balanced? I am not just Russian. I'm half Ukrainian, half Russian. My mum is Ukrainian, my dad is Russian. I think there are a lot of people like that in, um, in, in Russia right now. And I wouldn't, I, I won't lie, it's really difficult. It takes a lot of mental effort to not get influenced in your work by what you think is right or wrong. Um, and, to, but to me, it has never been more important just having this impartiality, taking a step back. Because in this fog of war, where you basically can't trust anyone or anything you see, it's so important, in my personal opinion, to bring people the truth, whatever that truth is. Um, and do it, I personally do it for the sake of my relatives that are being bombed and for the sake of my parents and my dad that might be, might be mobilised and, and, you know, ended up in the Russian army any time. I can see how much it, it means to you and matters to you. Now tell me about this new BBC unit that you're, you belong to, BBC Verify. How, how, how big is it and what's, what's its purpose? So um, it's a team, a new team, as you rightly pointed out, uh, of uh, around 60 investigative journalists across BBC News uh, that have experience in fact-checking, reporting on disinformation, um, providing analysis, uh, context for stories, and also open source intelligence um, investigations. And we have been doing it, obviously verification as well and we have been doing it this kind of work for years some of us but now we're just being brought together physically to um, to work together and help uh, our audiences understand and get to the bottom of some of the most complex and most difficult stories like like the war in Ukraine <laughs>